welcome back to Mother 2. I just kind of, I just kind of started this up in a random spot, I guess. But we're on our way back to Tucson now. Welcome back. Is it to nighttime because the water looks Smash really dark? Games. It's not nighttime. It is not nighttime. <laughs> um. Anyway, so other than Will being a fucking stupid ass, fuck, fuck. Um. Hey. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I was just called a fucking stupid ass fuck fuck. <laughs> hey, it's a walking sprout. You're a walking I love sprout. that. They're great. We both have colds now. Fix. Yeah, let's fix the cold. Yeah. You it's know, like got... it's like when you're playing Pokemon and you go to the Pokemon Center and, and like they get the machine and, and they fix and your Pokemon. Pokechino. I like how Pokechino. in the uh... ooh throwback joke. in the anime <laughs> in the anime they're like oh it just needs a good night's rest and it's like this has got the shit beaten out of you like. <laughs> People are like shooting rays into your mind and like hitting you in the face with lightning and stuff. Nah, I just need sleep. Well, no, no. I like the thing I like about the Pokemon Center in the anime is just like um. So it's just like, are you sure the Pokemon's gonna be all right? And then, well, it's just like, it's like they're taking it super seriously. Like they take it into an emergency room, like they start operating on it or something. And then in the yeah. game's just like, all right, put it in the machine, and that now it's yeah. better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know it's like in the anime they're like, ah, we gotta like take us somewhere and like be really special. And then in the game it's like, all right, all right, all right, I, I hope to see you again. Kind of reminds me, um, me, in the anime, um, like recently, oh, like I remember that Carrie. I just realized you know. that, uh, that Carrie just made. <laughs> yeah. Um. Throwback joke. Throwback to yellow version. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was an old commentary. That was my first commentary. Life is long. Take it easy, chubs. That was my last commentary. Um, no, it wasn't. Your last commentary no, was Kirby's one. Dreamland 2. No, it's actually Mother 2. Oh, I guess you're right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, basically. anyway, anyway, um, he's smiling. Oh, okay. Good to know. Ah, uh, what was I gonna say? What... Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, recently in the anime, um, the place just, uh, like, Ash, um, was able to, like, his, his, like, he and his Greninja, like, his Greninja has a special form where he, like, synchronizes with the trainer and reaches something similar to, uh, Mega Evolution, but it's, like, he and Ash, like, it and Ash are, like, they, like, command through, like, the same, uh, wavelengths or whatever, like, whatever Ash does, Greninja does or something, but this means that whenever Greninja gets hit, Ash also feels the pain, and so, like, in the latest episode in the English dub, um, Ash lost, um, the... Ash lost his 8th gym battle, and Greninja got hit pretty hard at the end there. And Ash completely fainted from it, because he also felt the pain. And it's just like, oh, Gr is Greninja gonna be alright? And it's just like, oh yeah, we're gonna take care of Greninja right now, but they're not even bothering to heal Ash at all. No, right? fuck Ash. He's the main character, he can do whatever the fuck he wants. It's not every day a father le uh, lets his daughter embark on a journey to save the world. Dad, don't worry about me. Ness and I will be able to take care of ourselves. In three, the next town, we'll meet another friend. If the three of us can combine our power, no one can beat us. Now wipe your eyes, blow your nose, and smile before we take off. Goodbye, Paula. Don't worry, I won't cry anymore. Her father is super overprotective. Uh... There's a teddy bear inside. Okay, yeah, now we have another teddy bear. Yeah, Paula really likes teddy bears. I'm just gonna point that out now. You really like yeah, teddy bears. Yeah, figure that one out. You really like Sean? Ah! Okay, so there's this guy who was in our scouting troop named Sean. And, um... So, like, Sean was... He was talking about how he wasn't cute, and then, like, I think Will brought up, like, he's cute as a teddy bear. Yep, and so, it never ended. Yeah, and now we just called him a... Now we call him a teddy bear. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hello, Ness. Everdread is looking for you. He's got something for you. He's as cute as a whole button factory. 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's, I've never heard that one. That the one annoying too. old party man. <laughs> it's just something that I kind of said without thinking, and like, what, then Will just like corrected me, just like, wait, a factory isn't cute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> Like, it just kind of said that without thinking. <laughs> I think the, the presence, the overwhelming presence of all the buttons. Oh, Everdread has a present to give to us, so we're going to go into his shack so that he can give us a present. Hmm. Wait, why'd I go what? back? I think that was an accident. Must have been. I was going to ask you to be my partner. But I know you'll refuse. It's written all over your face. If you accept it, I was gonna give you some money. Actually, I can't keep the money now anyway. Let me give this to you. It's $10,000. Use the money any way you like. You cannot refuse my generosity. Just accept it. Now I plan on looking for the evil money money statue that Liar X Adjurate unearthed and own it. I'll see you at another time in another space. What? A lot of bills? Yeah. That's quite the understatement for $10, Anyway, $10, recapping, because Carrie probably doesn't remember, actually. Um, Liar Exaggerate was that guy who wanted to see us alone, and he had unearthed a statue. Somehow, Mr. Carpainter got that statue, and that's, like, like that. What, since he got it, he got all brainwashed and crazy. And now, Everdread's gonna try to get it, because he's a thief. Okie dokie. Now do you understand? Yes. That old lady just said that they looked like a nice couple. Kidnapping is wrong. I'll be careful not to kidnap anyone. Yeah, just in case you do it on accident. <laughs> Oops, I accidentally <laughs> kidnapped this child. Yeah. Oh, it's like, uh, help, I have built a shelf. Oh yeah, I was just about to say that. Help, I accidentally built a shelf. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Let me get that picture up, actually. I love that one. I, I'm trying to like, how could you accidentally build a shelf? I mean, unless you like had an IKEA kit for a table and you accidentally made it into a shelf or something like that. But or unless you, you know, it, it, instead of sleepwalking, you, you you build and you're like you sleep carpentry or something. Help! I accidentally built a shelf. <laughs> I love the animation that goes with, or the not the animation, but the the graphic that goes with it. Help! I accidentally ate glue. Help! I accidentally glued the recycle bin. Oh, it looks like glue. Okay, never mind. I didn't have. A Wait, I'm I'm actually looking at the I'm looking at the actual uh, suggestions, and one of these says, "Help! I accidentally killed myself." Oh, what? Help! I, uh, like, yeah, there's just a few. What can mine say? Help, I accidentally mm -hmm. set my dog on fire. Oh. Help, I accidentally pooped on my boyfriend. I don't How understand. How do you do that on accident? I don't know. The shelf, maybe, I understand, but <laughs> what? Help, I accidentally purchased a book. Oh, it was on Amazon, of course. Nah, yeah. See, oh yeah. Help, I'm like... accidentally... Help, I am accidentally stealing people's identities, and I don't know how. Carrie, um, Carrie was looking elsewhere, so, um, I'm going to explain this. Ness just called, um, his mom, and she's like, Oh, I heard you got a new girlfriend. I'm gonna stop talking to you about this now, because I have this sneaking suspicion that she's standing right behind you. Oh my what? gosh. Don't start me on my rant about when people see a guy and a girl together, they automatically think they're a romantic couple. That happens a lot with Ness and Paula in this game. Hello, this is the Escargo Express. Your delivery charge is 18. You can count to the bi you can cover the bill, right? What do you want to give me, you stupid fucking child? What? I don't know. What? Do you Wait. This is basically how you store items. Oh, I thought you had snails delivered to you. Yeah, there's a, just a business that delivers snails to people. And then you gave him a bicycle in exchange. Yeah. I was confused. Tonight, the boogie is back. It's the Runaway Brothers. Wait, that's definitely not... 
the Blues Brothers. They're a parody of the Blues Brothers, yes. I accidentally took some LSD. Am I gonna die? What? It's actually funny because you you will not. The the drug itself will not kill you. Fun fact. I mean, it can't. Oh, that like... ba that bus just backed its way into there. <laughs> Yep, this is the bus to three, but I'm not sure if we can get there or not. The fare is four dollars. Do you want to go? Okay, that let's bus give it is a shot. On the freak. I have this feeling this could get ugly, though. This just walked right into the windows. <laughs> the the door's on the other side. Yeah. What? These kids are good, Will. Okay. okay. Maybe, maybe they have the emergency exits open. Stuff them through the windows. Oh, you missed a present. There's no door. Why is there no door? Pull the bus over. Or pull the bus over. I need to get a present. Like, hey, it's a sin? ghost! Why is there no door? Look, there's a ghost. There are more ghosts. What? Oh, man. Well, he said he thought this could get ugly. If there's ghosts, then... And we're back in Tucson? For some reason, the bus returned to Tucson. Yep. Just like I thought. Okay, I'm starting to get the creeps. We're going back to the bus station. Do you want to get off here? Yeah, I'll do that. I saw a gift. I want the present. Mm -hmm. Is that why oh, Will said sure. to pull the bus over? Yeah, I missed a present. Oh, you have to go through the tunnel with the ghosts inside? It's just a hunch, but I think the ghosts in the tunnel don't like anything upbeat and cheerful. When I was driving in the tunnel, I was playing some grooving tunes and the ghosts moved slower. I think the ghosts can't stand anything positive. The 2-3 tunnel to the town of Threek. Okay, they're not even being subtle anymore. <laughs> they gave up on that. Subtlety, what's that? Their subtlety is on Threek. Alright, there, uh, this, that is, is a present. A skip sandwich. Now we'll walk faster for a short amount of time. Oh, what's this? Is that the blue meanie? Cranky lady. <laughs> she has fangs. She's I'd be dead. cranky if I had fangs. She's well, dead. You know. <laughs> we killed a lady. How do you feel? I feel like we. Thing? I feel like we would have died if we hadn't. I feel accomplished. Carrie, you, not, Carrie, you, is there something you're not, you're not telling us? That's for you to find out. <gasps> Are we not going through the tunnel with the ghosts? We have to, but... Yeah, we have to do that, but we have to find some other means of getting there. Because mm. we can't do it on foot, and we can't do it via bus, so we gotta find another way. You're with a girl today! You, you must like be pretty popular. Bicycles. How about introducing her to my bandmate? He's right there. Hey, you came with Paula! With then you deserve a present, oh, playboy. Here's a backstage pass. You can get into oh. our shows with this. Oh, you're, you're with a girl. You're obviously romantically interested in her because there's no way that men and women can have platonic friendships. Terry, stop. You're, you're, you're taking this too Triggered. far. Triggered. Triggered. I'm bitter. Bittered. Bittered. You're so, you're so bitter about that, though. I am. I guess I lost my... T um. Anyway, so yeah, the Runaway Brothers are a parody of the Blues Brothers. In the English version, like in the English release, they were censored to prevent copyright, so they were changed to the Runaway Five, even though there's six of them in the band. Oh no. And their colors were all changed to look less like the Blues Brothers. The two lead singers that you saw out there in particular had their colors changed to red and green, probably to represent the Mario Brothers. Oh, it's like Christmas! Or the We're Mario Brothers. There are no hostesses here, and there are no girls dancing on raised platforms. This That guy's oh. a pervert. You, if, well, I was gonna say, go to if you're really interested in that, go to a strip club, not like a, not this kind of place. You know, I think it's pretty tacky to entertain our company's business partner by taking him to a Runaway Brothers show. But since I'm new to the company, I better just toe the line. 
Well, well, I got a little kid here talking to me like he's an adult. I'll give you one thing. You got guts, kid. They seem too proud. I mean, they just filled up this little music hall after all. My boyfriend lost the ticket that I gave him. He's waiting outside the entrance. He's got butterfingers, but he's nice. Hey, 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 don't get too close to me. I just farted. Heh <laughs> sorry. When I sit too close to the stage, sometimes I get hit, get sweater spit on me from the runaway brothers. Hey, Will, guess what? Guess what? Oh. Chicken butt. Oh, Carrie got us. Good. What? So good. Hey, Will, a rock den was? Who in the internet? <laughs> <laughs> oh, good in times. Jerry, are you okay? Yes, I'm stretching my hips because they are tight and make my back hurt. La la me me, I'm tone deaf. Deaf. My brother brought me here. Fa la la me. Follow Lami? Anyway, Carrie, did Follow you get Lamy? the joke we just said? No. It's. You know that that's not really proper German. You know that, right? Yes, I, I do. Didn't under, I, oh. I didn't understand you guys. Yeah, with your accents. Yeah, I know it's not proper German. That's probably why I didn't get it. <laughs> but he basically was saying, like, guess what, chicken butt? Oh my gosh. <laughs> now I'm used to hearing non, like, non proper German. Um, there were lots of see. cute girl dancers and acts in this theater. Except now, we're the only act playing here. We've even gone into depth, so we're pretty near stuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. The folks at Tucson will enjoy the Runaway Brothers show for quite a few years. It looks like to me. Shabbity do wa diddly dee la shabbity do be bop wa. I got those debt blues. Mm -mm -mm. If I had ten thousand dollars, I could pay off my debts and move on to the next town. I wonder if our huh. bus still runs. It may be rusted out. Yeah, this is why we have ten thousand dollars. How convenient. Am I right? <laughs> right? I wrote the lyrics to most of the Runaway Brothers songs. Money, that's what I want. Money, that's what is hot. Money, that's what I want. Money, it's what we ain't got some freedom. Freedom, freedom's what we really sought. I don't know, I don't have actual, like, I don't know if there's an actual tune to that. Hey, you get to see our show, kids. Fuck that. I want some bread. I need the coinage. I want more dough all the time. Eh, get it? Pizza dough. He wants dough, oh. but he also wants dough. I'm so excited. Dope. I might just wet myself. Yeah, basically, Lucky, who I believe is that's the chubby member of the uh, like of the two lead singers. Yeah, he basically invited that girl to see her backstage. Tonight, you got the theater's soul men coming at you, rocking and rolling live on this near stage for a limited time only. The world's greatest blues men, the Runaway Brothers, and here they come. Oh yeah, baby. Okay, shushy shushes. This is a good. This is good music. The world's slowest moonwalk. All right, that was the show. That was nice music. I agree. What did you think of that, Will? Uh, I thought... 
You Wait just... a minute. Wait, what? This is Tucson, right? Yeah, this is Tucson. You guys dealt with the people, the blue cultists, right? Yes. Mm hmm And then you went to see the blue performers. The blues, yeah. The runaway brothers owe me a lot of money. They'll stay here until they pay me back. They might be here for a hundred years. Unless you decide to pay off their debt. <laughs> That's Mr. Poochie Fudd. He's the manager. You're Mr. Poochie Fudd. <laughs> I don't want to be Mr. Poochie Fudd. What, what, what is that? Let me see it closer up. Right by my face. Oh, yeah, he says the same thing. If I just, like, flat out talk to him again, I need to actually show some fucking... I got the money, of course. Now the Runaway Brothers are free to leave. I got no complaints that I have my money. Well, what do you know? This little nipper took us from a nightmare to a dream. Ow! This means we can get out of this dump. Wait, I'm are, a good are you driver. on a different timeline? Come on, I'll show you. All right, let's move to the next town. I'm sure our old hunk of junk will get us here. There. I didn't stand out and get much attention, did I? Wait, what time are you, at, Carrie? I'm at 21:40. You're about 10 seconds ahead of me. Oh. How'd that me happen? Too. Wait, are you at the same time as I am, Will, or the same time as Evan? Yeah, Evan. Uh, oh, okay. Where are we now? Or, uh... 47, 48, 49, 50. Okay, can you let me know when you're at 22 and then I'll unpause? Now. Okay. Hey, sidewalk, get out of my way! <laughs> hey, sidewalk, get out of my way! over that dog. But oh, we didn't so run funny. over that dog. Anyway, the runaway bus has a very loud siren, so we don't have to worry about the ghosts. Oh, why didn't we just bring our ghost switch? Yeah, well, I, I, like, I mean, you just gotta call Knuckles, it's just like... Yeah. Like, you talk to the people in charge of the tunnel, you're like... All right, so where's the ghost switch? And they're like, what's a ghost switch? And he's like, oh, I'm afraid I can't help you. <laughs> That'll be $500. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I brought my my uh, bodysuit full of rock salt. What? What? It'll, it'll keep the ghosts, ghosts away. Oh. Salt. Oh, I guess it's nighttime now. We were in oh that tunnel God. for a while, I guess. Mm -hmm. Do you ever, like, drink water? And Looks then you like take we have to say goodbye for now. And then it comes out of your mouth. That just happened to me. Oh, <laughs> that, that doesn't happen to me. This place is pretty gloomy, but I'm sure you can light it up with your own little brand of sunshine. Hope Aww. to see you again sometime. Look for us singing in some theater in Foresight. All right, so now we're in Threek, and this is a pretty creepy-looking place, if I do say so myself. You're a creepy-looking place. I take offense to that. That's fair. There's graffiti here. This game stinks. Worth noting, this game stinks is the awful, awful sales campaign that Nintendo Power used for this game. Interesting. They did really? not mean that. You know what the thing is? Um, like, so, the game came with the official guide, and, um, the guide had scratch and sniff cards in it, and they were, like, highlighting that, so it's like, this game, like, this game has a lot of bad smells to it. This game stinks, is what they were saying. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure everyone took that at face value. Hmm. Worth noting, this game did not sell well in the slightest. I kind of like the atmosphere of this place. It's it's very different from all the other places. That's because there's zombies. Yeah. The circus tent is the safe zone. How can we defeat the zombies? Oh, 
Uh, I just don't know. The zombies are slowly advancing toward the tent. Everyone, I repeat, the zombies are on the move. I'm glad you're going to help us, but you're pretty young. Yeah, well, fuck you. I beat a giant mole. Anyway, yeah, zombies. That and a circus tent. That's that's the, that's what this part of the game's about. I don't know which part sounds better. The uh the Oh, you're witnessing one of the most common problems in this whole game. Slowdown. The handsome Tom and the smiling Sam. Oh. oh, looks like these guys can use PSI. And Paula can do jack shit to them. No, Paula. Paula's, Paula's offense is just awful. I don't know why I even bothered using it. It's because I don't want to waste psychic points is the reason. She's useful mm. in the PSI department, terrible at physical offense, and has the least amount of HP out of anybody. So you have to use her pretty selectively? Yeah, same. this was the same with Anna in um, Mother 1. However, since mm -hmm. this game isn't nearly as hard as that one, it's not as big of a deal. That's good to know. Yeah, the first one did seem pretty tough mm -hmm. from a player's standpoint. I mean, the rolling HP it. meter is a good part okay. of why this game's a lot easier. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Will, have you played the first mother? No, I haven't. Okay, you probably shouldn't because it's hard. <laughs> You're hard. It's Nintendo hard is what TV tropes what? call it. I don't say anything to you adults, but I would stress to you young kids, don't play for more than two hours. Anything excessive is good. Isn't good. Parents good. opposing... Like, what was that? Parents opposing something started with an O. I don't remember what the acronym... Like, what that... What the full name is, but the joke is that the acronym's supposed to be poop. You're poop. <laughs> Actually, that's kind of funny, because I'm pooping right now. <laughs> what? While recording, you're pooping? I'm not recording my pooping, though. Wait, Will, do you remember that Tumblr post we saw, like, about a year ago? Uh... Like, it was just an mm -hmm. image of a SoundCloud file t labeled audio of me jacking it. I remember that. <laughs> the No Good Fly and the Putrid Moldy Man are these enemies. Don't you just love these enemies, Carrie? They are definitely charming. I do enjoy them, to be honest. Told you, they have a lot of charm to them. I, mean, I kind of like going to a new place in this game because then I get to see the new enemies, but I think another reason why I like them so much is because I myself don't have to fight them. <laughs> Maybe that don't seem too hard, but at the same time, I'd, I'd rather just enjoy them. Maybe the one day them, we'll you know? play a game that Carrie has actually played on this show. Played Undertale. Oh yeah, I guess that's true. Did you ever beat it, though? I haven't played it in like three months. <laughs> Actually, that's a lie. I played it last time I was with my cousin, I think, which was last time I played it with her about a month ago. And I think I'm waiting to play it more when I see her again because we're both playing it together. Mm. Yeah, I just kind of, I just kind of played that shit all at once. It took me about four days to beat. Nice. It's a short game. I'm not much. The gamer, and so I don't really um, like put away a lot of time to do that. Mm, one day, one day. Actually, that's not necessarily true. You ain't one day for what? That nah, just don't worry about it. The zombie okay. possessor. It's a fucking ghost. Oh wait, it's a ghost! Ah, it's a ghost. That's spooky. I they they look so like weak, weak and wilted. Tiny little ghost. Well, how spooky is this? On a scale from one to spook? Pillowcase. Pillowcase? Hmm. Yep. Pretty spooky if I say so myself. 
you know, back to the topic of me playing video games, um, you would think that if I were ever to become a gamer, I would have by now since all of my close friends are pretty avid gamers and I still don't have too much interest in playing video games myself. And that's, so, that's a bit unusual, it, actually. It would have happened by now. I don't know, I'd rather read a book. <laughs> Nerd. Walk. Yeah, I know, it's, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Honestly, I might actually convince, like, something might actually convince you to play these games, though. Like their writing well, structure. Maybe. I mean, if it's something I could play on an emulator, I would, but considering I don't have any game consoles, and I'm almost surely not going to get any, I wouldn't have any reason to play them. Well, your emulate- well, an emulator for this game is honestly your best bet, because unless you decide to get a Wii U for whatever reason, like, mm -hmm. and I mean, you don't even have an SNES, so that kind of further explains this, but this game's about $200. Oh, man. And what you're seeing right here that money. <laughs> what you're seeing right here is a glitch. Oh, a glitch that had to do with the patch that I was working with. And well, I'm trying to get this figured out right now and just yeah, I'm just going to say it like this. You're not going to like I'm not going to be able to get Paula unpossessed because of this. Oh no. Because of this glitch. And it has to do with oh, something. No. I patched the game incorrectly, is the problem. Oh. So, like, it works okay. for the most part, but every once in a while there's a little glitch, like, right right here. Um, Very soon after this, I realized what was going wrong and I fixed the patch. It's, like, within the next part or so. What process do you have to go through to patch it? And Removing the patch and installing it again. Huh. Did you try turning it off and turning it back on? <laughs> that's Yeah, that's basically the solution. I'm stronger yeah. than a zombie, yeah. but a bunch of zombies, I didn't read that whole thing. Probably that's something okay. along the lines of I'm stronger than a zombie, but not a gang of zombies. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, we, like the base of the enemy, I guess, of the enemy in, that's uh, harming three specifically is... um. It's, like, uh, in the cemetery, but they're blocking it off. By the way, I just accidentally called it Threed, and that's what it was called in the localization originally. They changed its oh, name okay. to- Oh, hey, a woman, and she's going in the hotel. This is important for some reason. Also, listen to the m hotel music. What's wrong with it? It's Why does she look like she's only wearing on underwear? Because she is. Oh. Oh. Oh, they got us. Look. Oh, oh, you're losing consciousness. What could be the fate of Ness and his friend? I do not like how that line's worded. But they're friends. Like, they could just say Ness and Paula, but Ness and his friend. One friend. The door is locked. Okay. Well, shit. I'm calling out to you who I've never met. I'm calling to our friend who we've never met. Jeff. Jeff, we need your help. I am Paula, and I am with another friend, Ness. We are trying to contact you. Next time on Smash Team Games. Um, Jeff. I wouldn't- I, I- I wouldn't be able to tell you right now, but you'll see for yourself. 